Hello students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting video, I would like to tell you something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed on. If you find somewhere difficulty, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Now here is the question. A metallic bar of Young's modulus 0 0.5 into 10 to power 11 Newton per meter square and coefficient of linear thermal expansion 10 to power minus 5 per degree Celsius, length 1 meter and area of cross section 10 to power minus 3 meter square is heated from 0 degree Celsius to 100 degree Celsius without expansion or bending. The compressive force developed in it is here we have given four options. Options are A 5 into 10 to power 3 Newton, option B 50 into 10 to power 3 Newton, option C 100 into 10 to power 3 Newton, option D 2 into 10 to power 3 Newton. And this question is asked 5th May 2024 meet. Firstly, we have to understand what the question says. Here we have given a rod, it's being heated to rising the temperature from 0 degree Celsius to 100 degree Celsius. As we know that whenever we have to beings to heat it, any object, it beings to be expanded. But here some force exerts on it. We can say that is uh, some rigid state or wall, anything else that stops to bending or stop to compressing. So here we have calculated this compressive force. Okay. It is our key point of this question. Now, as we know that the formula of Young's modulus here, phi f into here the length, area of cross section, and change in length. Okay, here Young's modulus is given 0 0.5 into 10 to power 11. 0 0.5 into 10 to power 11. We have to calculate this force and length is given 1 meter, area of cross section given that is 10 raised to power minus 3 and delta L again we have to calculate. Let we have given the equation number first. Okay, as we know that thermal expansion alpha equal to delta L initial length and change in temperature. So here Thermal expansion alpha is given 10 raised to power minus 5. Here we have to calculate delta L. Here L initial length is given 1 meter and change in temperature 100 minus 0. So here 10 raised to power minus 5 delta L 100 and what is delta L? Delta L equal to 10 raised to power minus 5 into 10 raised to power 2 and delta L is equal to 10 raised to power minus 3 meter okay now substituting the value of delta l in the first equation 0 0.5 into 10 to the power 11 is equal to f and uh, 10 to the power minus 3 again 10 to the power minus 3 then 0 0.5 into 10 to the power 11 into 10 to the power minus 6 is equal to f and it can be written as 0 0.5 into 10 to the power 5 newton so here Multiply by 100 both the side, numerator and denominator, then we get 50 into 10 raised to power 3 Newton. So here option second is correct. I hope so. You understood this question. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Definitely, when you will become success, full contribution goes to your hard work. But if my videos, my lectures, my questions will help. In your success, I will consider myself lucky. Please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye-bye.